Hello, my name is Gildo with CDVI. Today, I'm here to explain how to identify an FTC 1000 with a Wiegand output to connect to an access control system. So here's the FTC 1000. Let's show you what's inside the box here. So first thing you'll find when you open the cover is the system manual for the FTC 1000. You'll also find a flyer indicating um, suggesting that you update your firmware, so please verify your firmware. You can find firmware on our website and you can download that for free to update your system. Inside the actual unit, you're protecting the system, uh, the equipment. Uh, here's our power supply for the actual scanner itself. And here we have the object of our admiration, the actual scanner itself. Included is of course the system software, our USB key with the system software, the manuals and other documentation available in, on that USB key. And last but not least, here we have a little uh, Allen key to adjust the angle of your camera itself sideways. So there's your unboxing of the FTC 1000 weekend output. The price and part numbers for this uh, product remains the same as what you're already familiar with. And uh, that is all you have to do now is to mount this unit to the actual stand that you've chosen for your actual reception. The easiest way to know if you have a Wiegand FTC is to check if the CDVI logo appears on the front of the unit. The earlier model, the CDVI logo appears on the back of the unit. And you'll find it right over here. Another foolproof way, I should say foolproof way, to identify your, if your unit is the Wiegand compatible model is with the wires coming out of the unit itself. So this is the actual camera, the scanner, and this comes through, and here are the wires. The newer FTC model with the Wiegand output has seven cable connectors. So if we count, we have the power, unit two, three, four, five, six, and seven. The seventh one has the Wiegand output connection to connect to the atrium or any access control system. The older unit will only have six wires coming out of the actual unit, so you'll not have the Wiegand output version. One, two, three, four, five, and six. To learn how to add a card in the FTC 1000 system, check out the video here. Keep an eye out for more videos on CDVI's website at cdvi.ca and also on our, on our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.